Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over a lesser known um, use of Excel and how it can help people, you know, track stuff more leisurely or if you work a certain job with data analysis and want to work with different data types, I'll eventually make a video going over how all the different data types work and how to use them, um, especially, you know, some people might use them for a job, but mostly just to track stuff for fun. Um, a lot of people like to consume media, so they want to track movies, and luckily there is a movies data type, so I'll show you how to use it. Um, so for an actor, we can pick any actor that we want to track. We can, um, for this example, we'll use Brad Pitt. So we'll do the movie Killing Them Softly, which is a great movie. So if we just select this and then go down to data types, this is my recently used, but if you haven't used it, it'll be down in here. Click movies, so it'll search the web. And if you click on this little uh, camera symbol, it will give you an overview. The release date, how long it is, the genre, the, the budget, and a bunch of different, um, you know, just basic information. But what we can do here, so we could, um, you know, add the director if you want. You could track, like, you know, how many movies you've seen by a certain director. We can do cast and roles. So for this, we can actually just highlight this whole thing. And instead of it being cast in roles, we'll just do just the cast. So it's looking up all these people and coming back with something. If you click on them, you can easily scroll through. So this is kind of quicker than just like looking up, you know, online if there's a bunch of different movies. Uh, for this, we'll do Inglorious Bastards because Brad Pitt was also in it. I didn't spell it right, but I, let's see if it can find it. So let's click movies again. And it did, which is nice. So it'll come up um, on the right whenever you click the movie data type and suggest you know what you were looking for if you didn't spell it right. So same thing. So we will add director for this and cast and roles. And then we could do cast there. If you just control shift down, let's add the cast of everyone. And then we can just also just highlight this over or you just drag it over. Okay, so now we know Brad Pitt is in both of these movies. So say, for example, I don't know, you had tons of movies down on this list and you wanted to find how many times, you know, how many movies you've seen with Brad Pitt in. We'll just do a simple count if. So you just type equal count and then if. So the range, so we're going to count if this range is equal to, so you put a comma equal to Brad Pitt. So just click Brad Pitt when he shows up. Close the parentheses equals. So we know he's in two of the movies that we saw. And so we could change this to, we could just drag this down and change this to. It, see that changed it to Sam Shepard. Um, we could do if it was Ray Liotta in both movies. He's not. He's only in one. Um, but this is a way to just kind of like track certain things about movies. And if you click these, um, you know, you'll get an idea of the characters um, and you know who's cast in the movie. And that's all I got for you today. Um, and this video was a little bit more for maybe people who want to use Excel for different uses other than, you know, stuff for data analysis or, you know, just normal spreadsheet work. Um, but you can use it to tr really track stuff and kind of easily organize or find stuff since it's connected uh, with the web instead of searching things. Uh, please like, subscribe, and comment. I'll make a tutorial if you leave a comment for anything you want to see. And thanks for watching.